Hello everyone and welcome to WordPress User TV. Today we are covering the DV WordPress theme and to be more specific, we are talking about shortcuts. Now shortcuts enable you to work faster as you're designing your website. I've been using these for quite a while now and surely they really increased my workflow. So I'm going to share with you seven, my top seven shortcuts which can help you design your websites faster. So if you're brand new to Divi or you want to take your design skills to the next level, I have a course called Divi Blueprint 3. So basically this course will cover pretty much everything that you need to know to design awesome looking websites. So anyway, I've talked too much now. Let's dive in and let me cover all these shortcuts. So over here, I have a pre-made uh, page. So my first shortcut is going to be the undo. So I'm going to come over here and add a brand new module. So I'm just going to click and let's say I'm going to add a button, right? And I've just uh, started typing all my text. And I realized that, okay, I don't want the button anymore. So the shortcut to undo is Command Z. Okay, so Command Z or Control Z, if you're on a PC, helps you to do your undo. Okay, so that's a quick one. So this works with everything. I mean, even if I come over here and I delete that text and then I realize that, oh, I really need that text, I can just do Control Z and then that text comes back. So that's a quick uh, handy tip that you can use while you're designing your website. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Now this is saving your page. So as you're working, sometimes you can lose your work. So it's quite handy to just um, type in Command S or Control S if you're on a PC. So this will save your page. So I'm just gonna do it now and you can see now that the page is being saved. Okay, so that's a quick tip to uh, save as you're working. Okay, let's move on to Number three, so let's say you want to exit out of this visual builder. Okay, you've done all your designs and it looks good and you're happy with it and you want to exit. So to exit, it's Command E or Control E if you're on a PC. Okay, so I've just hit Command E. Now I can preview my website as it's supposed to be without being in the visual uh, editor. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into my visual editor and show you some more cool uh, tricks. So this one here is uh, the next two are my favorite. So let's say I, um, let's add a heading over here. So I'm just going to click this plus here and we're just going to add a text module. And uh, in that text, I'm just going to type in here heading. Okay, so now we can see it's right here at the bottom. So we're just going to drag it in a little bit. Right, so I'm going to come over here to design. And let's say you're spending time, you're making all your adjustments. You've added your text, you've made it bigger, you've made it bold all caps and uh, maybe you've even changed the font. Now the reason why I'm doing all this is because I'm going to be demonstrating why it's important to use the next uh, feature. So okay, so maybe not Beaven. Uh, let me see which one I can use. Okay, I'm just gonna go for Droid Sans. Okay, so the spacing is a bit too much. Let's leave it at uh, say two pixels. Okay, so the line height is fine and uh, let's say you've come in here, you've adjusted your text. Okay, you've added a text color in there. So you've done all these steps, right? And you decide, okay, you want to add this heading onto the other side here. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna drag this to the top. Okay, so now this column here has a heading. So let's say you want to take this heading or have a similar heading over on the next column. So what you wanna do here is to hit Command C or Control C if you're on a PC, and that command is to copy. Okay, and then you can come over here and just hit Command V. Okay, or control V to paste, and then you can just drag it here to the top. Okay, and then all you have to do now is just to drag this to the top. Okay, so now you've saved so much time in going back and trying to see what settings are used for your other headings. So that's how you can speed up your workflow using command C to copy and command V to paste. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And this is to cut, okay? So let's say you want to uh, cut this and paste it somewhere else. You can always come in here. Uh, with your mouse over it, Command X, okay? So that's to cut. And then if you want to paste it somewhere else, you can just come over here and Command V to paste. And then that's it, you've got it there. Command C, Command V. Okay, so that's looking cool. The other one is not really a um, hotkey, but it's a way of just editing your text much easier as you're working on Divi. So let's say you want to adjust the first two uh, the first two words here may maybe make them bold now do you notice that when i highlight this automatically we just have this pop up here where i can just do some quick edits 
that's pretty cool because if you were to do it the long way, you would have to go in here into the module settings and then come in here, make all your changes in the visual, in the visual editor. Now, do you see how long it's, it's taking me to do all these changes here? So you can cut all that uh, time by just coming in here, highlighting what you need to. In fact, this is not just to do your uh, text edits. You can actually come in here, delete stuff and do your normal editing, which I think is really, really cool. So that's how you can easily increase your workflow using these uh, shortcuts. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments box below. If you'd like to design awesome looking websites, as I mentioned earlier on, I have a Divi course, which you can take advantage of because right now I have a discount code. So all the information you need is in the description below. Until next time, thanks a lot and see you soon.